Hi, I'm Ernie Rhodes and welcome to Fireground. Today you're probably wondering, what am I doing on this elliptical trainer? What I want to show you today is demonstrate the importance of conserving your air when your low air alarm goes off and you become trapped in a fire. If you get lost or trapped in a fire and your low air alarm sounds, it's very important that you stop and conserve your air consumption. Many of us may think we may have five minutes of air left, but we don't. We have more than five minutes of air. And for every minute that you can save gives that RIT team a better chance to find you and get you out alive. On this first evolution, I'm going to demonstrate working on the elliptical like I'm working in a fire. When my low air alarm goes off, I'm going to continue to work hard because now I'm panicked. Now I want to get out of the structure. I need to find a window. I need to find a door. How do I get out? So I'm going to work through the low air alarm sounding and I'm going to time it. Then we're going to tell you what that time is going to be once I run out of air. What I just demonstrated was when my low air alarm sounded, I kept working. I was simulating as I was panicked and trying to find my way out. I'm looking for a window. I'm looking for a door. I'm looking for another crew. I'm looking for a hose line. I'm getting away from the fire, but I'm continuing to work through the low air alarm. Once that low air alarm sounded, we started a timer. My low air alarm lasted three minutes and 23 seconds. I had three minutes and 23 seconds of air left. According to the Phoenix study, it takes 21 minutes to do a RIT rescue. I had three minutes and 23 seconds left to live. Now what I'm going to demonstrate on the elliptical trainer is when my low air alarm goes off, I'm going to stop working. I'm going to call for a mayday and I'm going to start to conserve my breathing air. And we're going to time that. Then we're going to pair, compare the two times after I'm done.
What I just demonstrated was when my low air alarm sounded, I stopped working. If I was lost or panicked, I got away from the fire, I called for a mayday, I used one of the acronyms, UKMP, and I started to focus on conserving my air by controlling my breathing. Remember, when I was working through the low air alarm, it was three minutes and 23 seconds. This time, when I stopped working, my air, and to conserve my air, my time was 23 minutes and 40 seconds. My heart rate was 159 when my low air alarm went off. So it's very important to know your SCBA and realize that you have more than five minutes of air. And that, remember the Phoenix study, 21 minutes to do a RIT rescue. So know your equipment, know your SCBA, and live. I'm Ernie Rhodes, and thanks for watching Fireground.